uh, fish bone and also uh, uh, fish bone and belly. Uh, also, there was that part, this is kind of a chronology. So we went through from the beginning to really the contemporary, the, the most recent uh, events. Um, there's lots of photos, there's video links, and animations, and it's easy, it's free to download. So stories about how Fish Moon events came to be, who worked on them, and the juicy behind the scenes detail. Uh, you know that's going to be crazy and sexy. <laughs> Alright, so the backstory, just a little bit of background. So backstory, um, when I was starting out in, in, I was in college, we did a street theater company. So this is my, you see me over on the right there, that's me. And, uh, so that was my bad street theater thing. Uh, children's theater, and kind of went to Canada, I really dodged the draft. And so there was, uh, we did theater on ice, which is pretty bizarre, I tell you. It was theater with, uh, you know, just on ice things. Okay, so we also did a uh, big fish celebration theater, which, uh, which was uh, very uh, folk artish, and you see that. And then the really the founding moment of Fishbone was the summer solstice celebration. Uh, absolutely, who, who's involved in summer solstice? Raise your hand, everybody. Okay, well, summer solstice was something like kind of new to me. And uh, and I did uh, this uh, big fish as a uh, as a float. And, and Michael Peake, if we can have a, a round of applause for Michael Peake. Michael Peake passed. Are you doing that? <laughs> yeah. So Michael Peake passed just recently, um, and but he was uh, the impetus for building of the fish. And uh, and then also then there were these other crazy people. Tracy Beeler. Oh, I can't. Okay, and, then, and Dominique Rivo. Someone's in the way. Okay, and also me. So we were, we were got, got together after Fish Boy, after the uh, uh, Solstice Parade, and decided, like, well, why are we only doing this for a month out of the year? We need to be doing this all of the time. So that's really the image for Fish Boy. Fish Boy is we got together in my studio and we started to, to do what we do. And the Burning Man Festival was also a major influence because we went that summer, or that, yeah, that August. And this was uh, Tracy's, uh, I think it was her brother's, like, like golf cart that we made into a float. Uh, and this is it in the, the playa. And that was the, the temple that year. There's, uh, these are like friends, you yeah, know, enjoying that. And that was the dragon float. So these were all kind of inspirations for this one. Uh, the next thing that was really major was clandestino. The clandestino was a fish bone or a uh, summer or the um, uh, Burning Man camp uh, that was from Santa Barbara. And we met them and they were like totally inspiring. They were doing like really interesting stuff. Um, this was the bar, the original bar car. Uh, it was called the Chaos Bar Car, made out of a like a, a I think it was a Volkswagen bus. And Buddy Waters was the, the center of the Dynastino uh, Empire. And these were some of the collaborations we did. Voodoo Lounge, uh, which was one of the first things that we did. And we, we did it with uh, Clandestino. This is their uh, performance. And this was uh, one of the art uh, pieces that came with it. And then it was also Masquerade, and that's where the fuck puppets started. And they're around somewhere, you may want to uh, play with them. Okay, also Dead Man's Sideshow. This was uh, with Jam Jam and Marina and with all of the. Uh, Palestino people, um, there's Dominique making a uh, skeleton. That's the skeleton that we were making for Dead on Sideshow. And also there was um, Cindy's party. Cindy's birthday party was uh, our first commission. So, 
We had uh, Vendestina was doing our area, the uh, fire performance. at Cindy um, in her glory on the throne. Uh, then there was Wizard of Oz. We did it Paseo, um, at the Paseo, and that's another shot from that. And Vendestina, the other thing we do was Uprising. This was when uh, the um, there was a landslide in La, La Conchita, and some friends of ours were, were uh, affected by that, so we did a fundraiser for their families. Uh, Lust was my favorite. Uh, and then there was a show that went with that, there was the Oregon Gypsies, and, uh, and then we started doing a Wednesday night event lab. Getting together once Woo! a week yeah! in my studio with toys to play with, and that's pretty much what it looked like. It was kind of messy, but you know, very fun. And uh, this is Steve Silverman, who ultimately went to Google and uh, is really doing the, uh, the, the mapping thing. And so, and this was this was my favorite night. So we figured out if you took uh, steel wool and you put it in a little container and you lit it, actually steel wool lights on fire, and if you swing it around it creates this giant spark surface. And so that's what that, that looked like. Um, and then this is the fire rats, the famous fire rats. That's what they look like. So all of this stuff is in the book. Um, there's a, a number of pages about the, the, um, uh, the Wednesday night. This is Wednesday night at the Pescadrome. Uh, we got like a bunch of tool out and people like playing tool. Um, and we had um, the um, theremin, so there was a theremin where you could like, like actually make music with your, with your hands. Um, and there was also, um, like I think Mark, this was Marco's thing, um, where we started to, to use uh, technology. And this was uh, the, one of the original chaoses, like, uh, like an apocalypse. So we come over here, so if you uh, haven't done that yet, but you should do that. Okay, and then the, there were there several Fishbone Studios. First of all, it started at Helene Street, at my studio on uh, Helene Street. That's what that looked like. Also, ultimately became Tracy Beeler's uh, home also. That's my school there. That's what the interior looked like. Then there was the Prescott Room. Um, Alan volunteered to uh, create a, a, like a space for us, and uh, the Pesquero became the space, and a uh, wonderful space for all these years. Now uh, that's a moment from uh, the, uh, the Pesquero. And then Fusion de Sur is something we've been doing since 2013 in Cuenca, Ecuador. And so that's our, our building in Cuenca, Ecuador. This is our house, and we can get like 80 people in there in the theater. So uh, it was like, like Fishbone Del Sur. Yes. And this, this is a, like a uh, mural that was on the wall of all of the people in the community. So that was actually was super fun. And then Fishbone VR is our latest thing, because we haven't been able to get together in person. So we've been doing virtual reality, we're really pretty experimenting with that. And that's the headset, that's uh, Oculus uh, uh, 2. Uh, a quest to uh, headset. Okay, so that's that. So now I want to like go to the actual book itself because there was a like we pretty much did all the major events from 2006 to the present. So 